In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create class announcements, send private messages to your students, and respond to student messages about individual assignment questions. From the toolbar, click Communication. If needed, select a class. All of your communications and communication settings are specific to each class section. By default, students can send you private messages, ask your teacher messages, and extension requests. If needed, you can turn off any of these features. You can navigate to each of the communication tools on the left side of the communication page. To start, we'll create an announcement. Announcements are messages for you to message all of your students and are shown on your student's home page. You can use announcements to share a syllabus or other class materials or to notify your students about a canceled class. Under Announcements, click New Announcement. Type a title for your announcement. Type the body of the announcement. To post your announcement to more than one class section, click Classes, select the class sections, then click Update. We will post this announcement only to our current class section. Select the date and time when you want the announcement to start and end. Then select where you want to store the announcement after it ends. Trash removes the announcement from your student's view. Archive removes the announcement from your student's home page, but students can still view it if needed. Click Preview to see your announcement. Click Save if the preview looks correct. Your announcement is posted to the specified class sections for the dates you selected. Currently posted announcements are listed under Current. Announcements that are scheduled to be posted later are listed under Future. Archived announcements are listed under Archive. Next, we will create a private message to one of your students. Private messages are messages between you and any student, TA, or instructor on your class roster. Under Private Messages, click New Message. Then, click Contacts. Select the message recipients from your class roster. Then, click Update. The recipient list and replies to your message are visible only to you. This lets you send the same message privately to more than one student. Type a subject for your message. Then, type the body of your message. Finally, click Send. Message recipients will be able to read and respond to your messages only in WebAssign. To read private messages that were sent to you, click Messages. Then, click the message to open it. To answer, click Reply. Type your message in the message box. Then, click Send. Next, we'll answer an Ask Your Teacher message. Ask Your Teacher messages are messages that students send you directly from their assignment in WebAssign. In an Ask Your Teacher message, you can view the assignment question about which your student is asking, along with their current and previous answers. Under Ask Your Teacher, click Unanswered. Click a message to open it. Ask Your Teacher messages show not only your student's question, but also their latest work on the question about which they are asking. To answer, click Reply. Type your answer, and click Send. The message is automatically moved to Answered. You can also see your student's previous answers, see when your student worked on the assignment, or report a problem with question displays or grading. To be notified when your students send you a message, you can set up email notifications for specific types of communications for each class. To do so, click Settings. To receive an email about each new message, select Forward Ask Your Teacher Requests to My Email and then click Apply. You can set up notifications for extension requests and private messages in the same way. You might want to recommend that your students set up notifications as well. 
Your students can click notifications in the menu bar to set up notifications for announcements, replies to extension requests, private messages, ask your teacher messages, and upcoming or changed assignment due dates. You can find more video tutorials, information, and resources in the online help and on the following sites.